Good morning, everyone. Today will be the first day I'm going to the office. So exciting because it's a new office. So look who we have here. Hey. Derek is here on apartment on day. <gasps> Maybe some more collaborations to come. Are you excited to go to the office? I don't see you here. <laughs> so some context for us to actually get to the office, there were so many layers of work that we had to do. We don't actually have to be there. We just wanted to be there just to see because it's a new office in one Manhattan West and Hudson Yard. So we get a nice view. So we have to first fill out a return to office form, which has to be done every two weeks. So it's not something that we can just fill out and then we're good for the rest of the time we want to go. Uh, so that two weeks, we actually just did it for just today. So you could do it for the whole two weeks or a few days or just one day. And then after that, we did do actual COVID testing to say that's negative every seven calendar days. So if, uh, we did it on Monday and then we had to actually get a kit shipped to us from Pixel by LabCorp, something like that. It's like an at home testing service slash kit. And they shipped that out to us on Friday and then we did it on Monday. So from Monday, the day you get tested, not the day you hear the results back, you get seven calendar days. So really this test was just for this one day on Friday because we heard back yesterday. So it's not that much time. They were trying to say like, don't do it on a Saturday or Sunday. So really the, the really isn't much time, but there is onsite rapid testing. They just highly recommend against it because of the limitation of like, okay, there's only a few rooms. They can't do COVID testing, at least like during rush hour time all the time. And then after that, I have to reserve a space. So we both got enclosed spaces. We try to get the highest floor possible. Um, in this case, it was the 66th floor out of the eight floors that there were there. I think the, the highest one's 67. I don't even know anymore, but yeah, we're gonna go there, check it out, see how it's like. I'm gonna bring you through all the protocols. We're also gonna go to lunch in K-Town, which is just like a 15 to 18, 13, 13 to 15 minute walk away from there and then see how it's like. So maybe this is gonna be how it's like going to the office because uh, the old office that I usually go to actually got closed down because the lease was over. So we had to go to this one. So kind of curious because this is a little sneak peek to our vlogs. Our first commute in years actually. No, one year. One and a half years. I see you didn't wear your mask, exposing him. I mean, here in New York, you don't need to wear it outside if you're fully vaccinated, so. You didn't see this part, did you? I did see that part. Wow. Damn. Some morning breakfast before we go to the office. <laughs> Welcome to my vlog, guys. Yes, I took over Christine's channel for once. Um, anyways, back to Christine. <laughs> Oh my god, this office is amazing. Like, so how we worked out was that we had to check in on the front desk where our old ID worked out, and then we had to go upstairs and check in. That check in actually, that's actually where you show your negative COVID test, and then you also scan your QR code from your check in in the first place because you have to be invited to the office. You can't just show up unattended. And uh, that's also like what comes out of your return to office form, which we had to fill out like a week ago. Then we get greeted by a host, which is basically someone in workplace services. They kind of tell us like, okay, this is the room we're gonna be coming in today. And then after that, they'll take us to the room. I mean, I think that's just the first time. I think the second time around, maybe they're not gonna show us where the room is. You're just gonna need to know. So then like what they said is like in the room itself in the enclosed workspace, you can, you don't have to wear a mask, but for like, let's say Addison, he's here too. We can't be in the same room. He has to be in the other room over there. So he's literally right next to me. So this is 
is the only time we can actually remove our mask. When we walk around, like let's say to go to the bathroom, then we do have to wear a mask and the, like the floors that we have right now, it's at 10% capacity. So there really is not a lot, but they're slowly opening up. The office just officially opened last week and there's a lot of people coming in next week apparently, but we just wanted to kind of check it out see how it's like Friday, but I want to take you guys around the office I can show you and apparently we get a 360 view of Manhattan which is so cool so let's show you out. Just gonna show you my office for today. Dual screens so even though I'm in the office I still get dual screens and I got my laptop here and then a whiteboard right behind me which is pretty cool if I want to like record myself because if you notice there's like a little camera up there. I have not tried it yet. I'm a little bit scared because it looks so big and I also see speakers so you can see like probably my calls could be on loudspeaker. And then here I can actually charge my phone here and then that's actually pretty cool. I don't even need to bring anything for it and then all the outlets are here. So it's like a little conference room, but just for me at this point. And I, I removed my privacy screen because you know, like I'm in the office, I'm by myself for now. <laughs> we also did book a collaboration space, which was a huge conference room. And it's like for the entire day that we have to actually wear a mask on and we can work there however we want. But if we want to work individually, it would be in this room. Look at that. Like I did not even know these are standing desks. Wow. Oh my god, look how small the vessel is from here. Right over there. Keep in mind we're on like the 66th floor. So that's how low that is and how high we are. <laughs> Damn. Are you serious? You have like actual desk with treadmill. You do a little cycling at your desk. I'm going to do this next time. Oh my God. And you got these little booths. Wow. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at it. It's like all outlined here. prayer room so and then we have 150 people to then if we were to take all the furniture out i think it's see we have kombucha and cold to brew so it's just a fun yes. collaborative space and they would just ah, have a lot of food <laughs> these are <perfect. laughs> Did you scare? scared? Oh. Oh. Jimmy. No. Jimmy, I'm sorry, he would be like outrageous. Oh. 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 Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. There's a different theme going on here. Like, they're all themed after different bridges. So this nice. is themed after the Manhattan Bridge. Actually, when we so had cool. the uh, accessibility sense for broadcast, this is where it took place here. Um, so we have like. What did you think? I'm impressed. Yeah. So cool. And then now we're gonna go back to our room to do our meetings and then go for lunch. Finally going for lunch. Meeting up with Derek and another friend, Chirag or Jiggy. Oh. Too hungry, but I already ate my Nangman with some good company. <laughs> They're looking for apartment.
moments here, so excited to see them more in future vlogs, I guess. We have finished lunch and now we're going back to the office. He actually brought all this stuff, which is what you're supposed to be doing for security reasons, but I just left it in the room because they said I could. So Chiggy and Derek, they actually already want to go to their open house because they're looking for apartments here. So we're just going to go back to the office and I have a call at four and then we're going to go for dinner. How was working in the office? It's nice. Nice. So I heard apparently that if you're fully vaccinated for next week, they're starting to allow you to kind of like you don't need to get COVID testing. You don't need to get temperature check or wear a mask or social distance. So it's like basically gonna be back to normal. I don't know how it's gonna be like, but I'm gonna probably vlog that day and see how it's like. I don't have an actual approval yet for a specific day to come in the next two weeks or so. It's really after those two weeks actually. So we'll see. So I'm gonna be a little bit curious about how it's gonna be like here because right now it's at 10% capacity. So it really is like ghost town here. But after that, probably gonna be a lot more people. So we'll see from there and see you guys next time. So we're actually gonna be going to go to dinner at Plant Aquarium with Derek and maybe Chiggy or Gerard, however you want to call him. Um, but like, honestly, pretty excited for the weekend. Gonna have like Addison's birthday on Saturday and then on Sunday, it's just, just gonna be a lot of other things. Like for example, going to the pool and teaching Addison how to swim. But in general, now we're off to Friday. So kind of curious, like I think it's going back to normal, but you know, hasn't really gotten any official communication about what it's gonna be like. So this is just gonna be how it's like. For now and it's so far we've just been working here as if it's like by ourselves it's pretty cool like if you were to use the screens as if it's a dual monitor but on a friday typically there's really not much work so i can i honestly can't really say it's a typical day of work it's really a typical friday maybe but we'll see so we're here at plant a queen it's like some plant-based restaurant here in manhattan <laughs> Oh my god, look at my virgin suck it to me. We're here at Planta Queen. Look at this, it's so cute. It's a cat. I got it because it's a cat. Oh. Cheers. Look at my cat. <laughs> so these are the cauliflower tots. I don't remember what's on it, but it looks good. Hey, hey, hey. Camera eats first. Oh, it smells like truffle. This is our rainbow well. Yep. Yum. Looks good. Yeah. Yum. Dig in. This is the black truffle fried rice. What was that? Yeah, this is called truffle fried rice. All right, truffle fried rice. Look at that. See it right in the shade. Truffle. Yeah. Oh my god, the food here is so good. We might order more sushi because we were so impressed. At long last, the dragon roll has arrived. Wow. Look at that, Thai iced tea ice cream, matcha cheesecake with affogato and berries and mochi. The best um, vegan so food. Bad. That was the best <laughs> vegan food I've ever had. Holy oh. There were a lot of pregnant women there, which is I'm funny welcome. because you you know pregnant women can't I have, have triplets. <laughs> pregnant women can't have raw raw fish, so. But I can. <laughs> <laughs> so I would recommend you to come here. Like it has become my favorite vegan restaurant now. 